First of all, I am going to demonstrate the venous blood sample collection from the cubital fossa and anti-cubital vein. Mm -hmm. Veins carries deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body towards the heart and artery carries oxygenated blood from heart towards the different parts of the body. Here, I am going to explain the venous sample, blood sample collection methods. So first we have to apply the tonic weight. Why we have to apply the tonic weight? Because it is going to block the venous circulation from this hand. So it is going to drain the deoxygenated blood from this hand towards the heart. So we have to apply tonic weight so that it will block all the venous circulation. Now once the venous circulation has been blocked, whatever the deoxygenated blood in present which is present inside these veins, it be accumulated inside the veins. So the this vein becomes more bluish discolored as well as the vein become more prominent. Mm. So it will be easy to identify mm. so that we have to apply the tonic weight before the uh, whatever the collection of the venous blood samples. Now before we try to begin our collection with the help of our finger we have to palpate the prominent veins and later we have to apply the cotton spirit sweep. So this is the cotton spirit sweep and we have to apply it Clear? Once we apply the cotton spirit sweep, we have to wait for, uh, for example 10 to 20, 30 seconds. This is the syringe and this portion it is known as needle. Mm -hmm. This is the syringe and this is the needle. And needle having the pointed end. When we are closely looking at the pointed end, there is a cross cut. So this part it is known as B well. So whenever we try to insert this part in, inside the anticubital vein, this part must be facing upward. Clear? So like this, for example, this is the vein and we have to insert this uh, pointed end of this needle inside this anticubital vein just like this. Once we insert it, try to lift this so that the blood will be coming out. Clear? For example, we need to take a 2 ml of the blood. Once the 2 ml of the blood is collected, just try to block this puncture, remove the needle from the part and just drain it inside the anticoagulant container clear and once we put this immediately remove the tonic weight why because the circulation will be re-established clear so that is the simple method for the collection of these venous blood samples any doubts tie tonic weight just above the cubital fossa Palpate the anticubital vein in the cubital fossa and apply cotton spirit sweep over it. Puncture the anticubital vein with the help of needle while bevel facing upward. Collect the required amount of the blood sample inside the syringe. Transfer the blood sample into anticoagulant vacuities. Release the tonic weight. I hope via this presentation now you learned how to take venous blood samples. If you like this presentation, please try to share it with your friends, groups, colleagues and batch.